are made from great stories. They are inspired by good times and bad. They break your heart and then soothe your soul. Hi, I'm Kimberly Williams Paisley, and welcome to the CMT 100 Greatest Songs of Country Music. These songs were selected by an expert music industry panel, including members of the Country Music Association. Before we move forward with the countdown, let's take a minute to look back at the stellar songs honored so far, from 100 to 76. Kicking off our second hour is a country song that is unconventional in more ways. You ran crying to the bedroom, I ran off to the ball. When Chiseled and Stone came out, every time I heard it, I just cried. When you hear it for the first time, if you haven't heard it, you're going to pull the car over and go, you know, holy crap, uh, uh, because I did. And I said, feeling sorry. For myself. In country music, Fern Gosden is known simply as The Voice, and his soulful ballad, Chiseled in Stone, a song he wrote with Max Barnes, won the Country Music Association Song of the Year Award in 1989. What I love about that song is you don't know exactly what it's about until the end of it, until the payoff. Until the guy goes, you know, son, you don't know about lonely. Till it's chiseled could you hear Chiseled in Stone and not be touched by it? Chiseled in Stone, God, it just brings chills. I get, look, I get chills. You know, just talking about it. There's no question uh, that's one of the greatest country songs of all time and will always be. Till it's Chiseled in Stone. Coming up. When you hear that song, you know they take that son of a bitch in it. <laughs> it had everything in the kid was you? Let's take a look back at the greatest country songs that were chosen from 75 to 51.
At number 50 on our list, this song created more fireworks than the 4th of July. The lyrics shed light on the issue of domestic violence, and a powerful video added fuel. Thought that I'd be waiting up when you came home last night. She told stories in just plain spoken truth, you know, and that's what I think has made her as great as she is. It was the Tell It Like It Is number one hit that would establish newcomer Loretta Lynn as a female force to be reckoned with. It's just her coming out in that song, and that's what I love about her music and her as a person. It was just what she was going through in her life at that time. You're not going to run over me. You know, stand, I'm standing up for myself, and you're not going to do it to me. Don't come home a drink. Uh, we've heard that a few times. <laughs> Unapologetically tackling a once taboo topic, the song would set the bar for a new generation of hard-hitting female vocalists. I think a lot of women probably wanted to say that, <laughs> but they couldn't. But through Loretta Lynn, they could. Don't come home a drink and with loving on your mind like you think you're entitled to take advantage of me, dude. Just Loretta was telling it like it was, and she was speaking for all women. <laughs> You knew she meant it. You think Mooney listened? <laughs> oh, don't come home a drinker with loving on your mind. Yes. Coming up, the three things every aspiring country singer wants, and a very grown-up song by a very young girl. When the CMC 100 Greatest Songs of Country Music returns. in to sing on When I Call Your Name. I remember, I think I was standing on my tiptoes trying to sing harmony with him. I had sung the song, and it was there. Well, okay, yeah, we kind of like this one. And then Patty's voice, she started singing it and sang three notes of the first line, and Tony and I just... I mean, I just closed my eyes and almost forget that I'm supposed to come in singing with him. <laughs> it was just one of those made-in-heaven combinations. When Tanya Tucker signed a record deal at the ripe old age of 13, her producers wanted her debut song to be the happiest girl in the world. But Tanya had something a little more sophisticated in mind. First time I heard myself on the radio was, uh, I was sitting out in the car, Bill Mack on WBAP. And did I hear you say he was and uh, he said, there's a little girl that just come out with a new record, and Tanya Tucker, Delta Dawn. So I just felt very proud. She's 41, and her daddy still calls her baby. It was the song that introduced the world to Tanya Tucker, a gravel-voiced woman child projecting worldly experience and fierce determination beyond her years. It was an unlikely debut from one so young, but it showcased her talents perfectly. She tackled some pretty intense subjects early on in her career, and Delta Dawn was a huge hit. It makes me wonder, at that age, did she even know what she was singing about? That's a pretty heavy song when you get right down to subject matter. Then a man of a low degree stood by her side. She was talking about a woman who literally had pretty much just been driven crazy uh, from unrequited love. And then did I hear you say he was hating you here today? It's an extraordinary moment in country music history and an extraordinary performance and a great, great country song. I think it's classic in the sense that we can all hum the song to take you to his mansion in the sky